But now we got a lot of bees flying crazy in front of them. We got it well, so but I just also had my uh, the tripod right in front, so I had okay. their um, flight path blocked off. Okay. So we'll you'll see them kind of go back to being normal again here in a second. All right, guys. Hello, everybody. We are here on a lovely, though warmer than we love, uh, Wednesday afternoon. And is it afternoon? Wednesday almost afternoon it's 1136 and so uh, Derek is going to do a replacement on his bottom board we have a bottom board on his eight frame hive that is not a vented or screened bottom board so he's going to actually replace that because we obviously want to make sure that the bees have plenty of ventilation throughout the the year also with the vented bottom boards for those of you that do not know that here in fact this is what we mean so it's a screened bottom board i say i keep saying vented i mean screen so this is got a screen on it and what happens is for instance with our vsh bees they will they will have the varroa mites on them they'll go ahead and pull those varroa mites off probably even bite them a little bit pull their legs off whatever the case is but then they just drop them well those varroa might then hit the bottom and they either stay on the bottom board along with wax and defecation and any other kind of refuse that's inside the hive when they clean everything just kind of drops down well the screen bottom board allows all of that to drop out it also provides them with some ventilation so we're going to go ahead and replace those derek is getting Oh, a beetle blaster. Okay, so he's getting a beetle trap. This is the time of year. You've been with us in a couple of these visits to the beehives. So this is the time of year that beetles are a real, hive beetles are a really nasty little problem that we are having. So we use our beetle blasters and other methods to control that. So there's that. I am going to bring this around to beside the hive that we are going to be working on. For now, let's see if we can't flip you around to watch that entrance and see them coming and going. As you can see, a lot of coming and going from the beehive. Uh, you may or may not be able to tell, but some of these bees have a yellower color than the other bees. I think, I personally think that that's because we actually have a pollen feeder on the other end of our bee yard so i think some of those girls are coming back and they still got some of that pollen on them others are coming back with a really bright yellow pollen on their back legs if you see the bright yellow that's what i'm talking about that's a pollen sack that has been filled with pollen at the flower or uh, at our pollen sub there's not a ton of pollen around um I know goldenrod, I've seen goldenrod in bloom, but that's up in southern Indiana. We are over here in Louisville, Kentucky. So I haven't, we don't generally tend to have a lot of goldenrod in this area, or at least not that I see. Derek, do you know about any goldenrod in the area? Yeah, yeah, see, so I don't know what specifically they're getting their pollen sources from, but they are getting pollen. Others you don't see with any pollen. They may be coming back with some nectar. We've got some feeder buckets off to the side here, so they may be coming back with that. Heck, in this weather, they may just be coming back with water. Now, I was out at the park ones with Floyd, Floyd's Fork the other day, and there's a ton of golden rock. How far is that from here? Too far, but oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. Think, uh, I would sure love to get some beehive out this way. Uh, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Goldenrod they've is. That, well, they've got that whole place planted with pollinators. Sure. Well, and so goldenrod, for those of you that don't know, it's a great late season source of pollen for the bees, uh, nectar for the bees as well. We're going to go ahead and get started. What's it smell like though? Huh? What's it smell like though? What's that, goldenrod? Yeah. I have a clue. The honey, the honey from it. I've never had it. I've heard it smells like wet socks. Ew. <laughs> All right, we're not, That's Derek. That's just what I've heard. I haven't, this is my first year. So Derek, gonna, Derek has just had his speaking privileges revoked. He doesn't get to talk anymore. That's gross, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've heard that it is an exquisite honey, and I also know that there are some very negative people out there that when they describe things, they do so in a way that benefits them and their negativity. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> all right, so this has a feeder on it. Are you taking the feeder off of this or no? 
I'm thinking about just leaving them on because it I, it doesn't appear that's causing a heat issue in here mm -hmm. at all because the rest of the hives with them on. Well, but you're getting over, ready to. Well, you're going to do the OAV, so yeah, but do you think I, that's going to be a problem? I think I can just cap while we do the all right. OAV. And cool. All right, cool. That's yeah. fine. And they are taking the feed. Look at that. That yeah, that jar is empty. So, so I, that's I good. see if I've got room to put feed back on them. Just okay. to give them something to help regulate. I'm thinking the cold, the jar with the water inside will help keep the temperature down maybe as it cools the night, take longer to heat it up. Awesome. And it'll give them... Uh, a water moisture spot because it's so dry and I looked at the forecast there's no rain for almost two weeks so yeah yeah so we want to get some moisture in yeah awesome so. all right so guys I'm kind of here Derek has been uh, a few months into beekeeping you've seen that in some of the previous videos where we sat down and had a conversation I was even surprised that he's as new at beekeeping as he is because he has proven to have quite a bit of knowledge so technically I'm just here today as we go through his beehive to provide moral support and some guidance if he needs uh, otherwise I'm here to just ask questions that you know cause him to doubt himself <laughs> um, because he has a plan he knows what he's here to do and uh, I just want to make sure that he knows that he's doing it right or give him an opportunity to think oh let's let's try a different route so in uh, space today I would like to learn about when a hive is getting very close to honey bound. Okay. How much room is enough room for the queen to lay? It's yeah. my big question. And when you're like, oh man, if you don't do something different. Uh, right. So I'm going to leave that on there. Just oh, you are? Yep. Uh, he is for now. covered head to toe. There's and yet he doesn't want the bees to come out at him. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am standing here in shorts and a t-shirt. And well, uh, honestly, if, I, if, if the roles were reversed, Eric, I would totally let them out just to watch me get stung. <laughs> but you know what? You deserve this. All right. I'm going to grab the smoker, though, and I will be your assistant for today. Same as same as we've done in the past. Yeah. Did y'all see these bees crawling around? Ooh, we got a lot of bees. We do have a lot of bees. This is we do one. have uh, some beetles in there, too, by the way. You see those? Okay. Right in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got, oh, I'm put a trap. Putting the trap in, yeah. And you've got traps in there, right? Yeah. Oh, I have to have my sound on my work phone, by the way. I am waiting on a phone call from an appraiser. Okay. We had, uh, okay. I've got a closing on at the end of the month, and the appraisal was today. So I'm waiting to hear that from him. It's a new build, though, so there's no reason it didn't appraise. Oh, I see. Oh, I see but that also means that I have to listen to all those other notifications. Okay, so this is our honey super. Actually, That's our food super. food super. Yeah. Same thing, their food is honey. However, the reason we distinguish that is because honey is for us to take. Um, us is, uh, you know, the, the food is for them to keep. So we just distinguish food and brood chambers uh, and honey supers. All right, uh, Alex says they are going to get you. She's probably talking to me because she's also got the laughing faces afterwards, and she would, in fact, think it's hysterical. Oh, yeah, it did that to me the other day, and I can't. Yep. Fortunately, it was on the bottom. Um, but yeah. And I'm because of Robbie. I don't want to. I'm going to try to stay this Yep. However, the beetle traps are working. Uh, uh, you've got six or seven of them in there. They may be stacked together a couple, you know, no, they're, you got six or seven in there. So we'll just need to re-up on that oil, but, uh, it's working. So anyway, yeah, she's laughing. So she's probably, you know, probably waiting to see me get stung. Mm -hmm. You know, what are friends for? That's, right. That's honestly why I keep trying to encourage you to come out of your bee suit. Cause I want to watch you get stung. <laughs> I will. It's not at 100 degrees. He just killed one. Uh, probably, probably be the problem. Yeah, the, Alex, that's true. Uh, anytime you go into a beehive, no matter how careful you are, you are going to kill bees. We try to minimize that by being careful, but it doesn't matter how careful you are. It is going to happen. Are you looking at that burr comb? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, you're just going to straighten that out. Get rid of it. I would. I'm going to start where I don't get you. 
Come right, on. as I, I reach it, I was going to say, as I reach in with my bare hands standing in their flight path. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is sad, Alex, but it does happen. But we exposed some honey in there. I'm trying to come around and bring it to you. There you go. Can I blow them off there? Oh, yeah. I'm just letting them watch. Uh, letting y'all watch them walk, walk, around, walk around on this. Good grief. I know how to talk. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah, here. Where's your honey? Actually, it's being extracted today. We don't have a ton, but I do have some for you because I promised it to you a long time ago. So we, uh, we are extracting that. By we, I mean somebody other than me. Um, but my mom and dad like to do it, and I don't. So they're doing it. Should I start in the center and just work? What are you? Yeah, what are you room. looking for? We're, whoa. we're checking for room, and I got to get this bottom still too. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're just looking for room, I would go straight to the center and uh, just check because that's where the queen is going to be laying anyway. Okay. Give myself space. Give yourself space, yeah, sure. Now these things are so. Ah. I say that. Let's go right over. Oh, here. I was just, yeah, oh, yeah, just pull that out and let's just check it. Slow, slow, slow. Yep. Who is with me? This is Derek. Derek is a new beekeeper. He reached out on Facebook. Um, all right, Derek, careful with that because that's, that's one you secured with string and you have egg all through there. Yeah, She's got plenty, plenty of, of space. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll want to put that back we got, together. Look at our rainbow. You want to show that rainbow of... Honey across the top, that's what yeah. you want to look for too, right? Yeah, so they, they put their honey and pollen around the edges here. You see some nectar right up in the top here. You see some bee bread in there, some pollen right here that they're getting ready to turn into bee bread. And then all through here, the queen has come through and laid her egg. It'll be a very similar setup on the other side. Yeah. Um, and this is all the way through. Yeah, so uh, they've got room. I would not worry too much about feeding take um take another one out take the next one out let's just be thorough because if i figure if they can eat some if they can just eat it maybe not even store it yeah uh who is in the ghostbuster <laughs> <laughs> who are you gonna call <laughs> da -da 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 -da. yeah uh this is <laughs> this is derek he's a new beekeeper uh within the last few months you said april right march april uh yeah since march oh, man i slow. should be careful ah no it happens, uh, but you all you do want to, especially down in the brood chamber, you want to be careful because you don't want to roll the queen. Uh, but yeah, no, that looks Speaking great. Which, no, that's a drone. Is that a drone? We that's a drone. a drone. Yeah, I saw some drone in my house the other okay, day too. Yeah, drones. still got some drone activity right there. Yeah, look, yeah. that's all capped brood. So they're getting ready to hatch, and she will come back around and lay in. Look at that again. bright yellow pollen in the top of that. Yep. Okay. Um, so anyway. There's caps, a lot of caps in there. He reached out on Facebook through one of the which associate which Facebook page was that? Was that one of the associations? The Keepers of Louisville on or Kentucky Anna on Facebook. Okay, the Keepers of Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Kentucky. So yeah, through one of those associations, my dad responded, and uh, one thing led to another, and now here we are in the same bee yard because we said, yeah, sure, we'll help, and now we can't get rid of him. So he just keeps showing up. So I'm Theo Huxtable, and this is my friend Cockroach. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, so anyway, yeah, that's that. Uh, he ended up being a student of my mom's back in the uh, fifth grade. In fact, her last year of teaching in Shepherdsville, up here in Kentucky, before we moved to Georgia, um, Derek was in her fifth grade class. He's got her yearbook signature and all that kind of fun stuff so yay um anyway i'm gonna put a little bit more oil into the i would trap yeah it's yeah low and then, um then we gotta do the bottom and then we gotta do the bottom board yeah 
So y'all see it. This is what's going on. How exciting. Now, because Derek is new, I, I do tease him a lot for being in his bee suit and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I tell anybody who wants to come into the bee yard, first and foremost, if you're even the slightest bit nervous, get in your bee suit. Because when you are working with the bees, you need not to be nervous. Uh, next next time I want to be in the Ghostbuster costume and check it out. Yeah, Alex, we can make that happen. Uh, I'll bring you out to the bee yard. That'll be fun. Because uh, you'll get to see where that delicious honey is actually being produced during that time. We'll try to get you out here this season. Actually, I got another buddy of mine that I've been promising for years I'd bring to the bee yard. I need to make that happen too. So, um, But you do not want to be nervous in any way. So if, that's, if, it, if what it takes is being in the bee suit, Get in the bee suit. Put the gloves on. Whatever, whatever you got to do. What you looking for? Crazy I was just is in the beginning of the year. I didn't wear gloves or anything. I did wear uh -uh. a suit. Yeah, and it's dripping too, so be careful. Uh, and before you put that in, let's just prop it back up on the brick because we got yeah, we to take this. Kid. You did. That is one of the problems. That's one of the reasons why I don't like the gloves. Yes, they're hot, but at the same time, you don't feel as much. Ooh, we need yeah. some more fuel. Uh, you don't feel as much, and so. You tend to kind of make some mistakes if you wouldn't have. Don't make mistakes if you can help it. Huh? But don't make mistakes if you can help it. Yeah, it's going to happen all the time. That's right. Nice. Here we go. Um, all right, sorry about that. I had to walk away from the camera to get some more fuel. For those of you that can see, smoker is almost empty. Derek has pine straw. Where'd you get your pine straw? Uh, Lowe's. Lowe's, okay. So, when I was, we were keeping bees in Georgia, of course, pine straw was everywhere down there. It's one of my favorite fuels. Uh, That's because what your dad was saying. He likes it too? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know what they say about acorns and trees. <laughs> but it's got a really nice, pleasant smell to it as far as smoke fuel sources go. Uh, job, but maybe it is. This will give us a feeling of weight of how much weight's in that bottom box. Oh, yeah. 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 Keep it level. But see, Here, I'll grab I'm you. not big on the weight on the box yet. What it should weigh, but it feels like it weighs a lot. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yep. This is another reason why you want a second person with you. For this experience. They're just, there are tasks that require two people. Simple as that. Okay. It is on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not excited about this. Just oh, hell no. We just split their whole house in half. There we go. Okay. Yeah, they are oh, good and pissed. Pick it up. Step back. Yeah, girls. Yeah, girls. I know. But your front door needs to be changed. So we're changing it out. Set it down. Alright. They are so gonna get me, Justin. Yes, they are gonna get me, but ready? You see all those bees? We call this beekeeping 101. Actually, you can tell by the sound that they are confused, but they are not mad. Okay. Yeah. This sound is an actual is, is actually a pretty smooth, soothing uh, sound. What's can up? Puff my rim. Can I what? Puff the rim. Of, eh, there's only a couple bees. Hey, man. We just <laughs> met. <laughs> the rim boy. We just... I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm married, buddy. Uh, <clears throat> why do you do that to the poor bees? Okay, so uh, truth be told that annoys them but it doesn't really hurt them and uh at the same time it puts them into their home we are taking that bottom board away the one that had the bees on it and you saw me uh bang it down we're taking that away so if i didn't do that then all of those bees uh come back yes he was by putting that super on he, here i'll hold this uh he was gonna kill more just by see look at that they're hanging out at the damn trap they're taunting us the little twits here let's put it here 
we need to press that down. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see. So, about to kill more. So, yes, it, he, it, it is going to squash a couple of them, but uh, overall, in a hive of... Derek, I'd say you have every bit of 60,000 bees in there right now. It's full. Yeah. Uh, that number is actually going to begin to diminish now as we go into winter anyway. Did you bring any uh, syrup for them? Yes, no, I did. You did? Okay. Uh, that number will begin to diminish anyway because they're going to start dying off and they won't be replaced as heavily simply because there's not enough food storage to be able to feed a colony of this size. So uh, the bees individually are not trying to survive. What they are trying to do is provide enough and produce enough that the colony can survive. In fact, the, uh, do you have a top? Oh, you got a couple holes in there, okay. Uh, the colony itself, uh, its attempt to survive is more on a genetic distribution level than it is an actual colony itself. So one of the reasons why they swarm every year is because they are trying to make sure that their genetic material, the queen's genetic material, is survives. So they split in half because they now each have a better chance of survival than a single hive. That doubles their chances that the genetics will survive. So yes, he killed a few of them, but they were about to die anyway. So, so not even really made, collateral damage. Huh? The bees are kind of made to be expendable because, you know, they get eaten by birds so much. I know it's not the greatest way to think, and we try to do minimal, but there's just so many. We do try to do minimal. There are so many bees. But at the same time, you have to do the inspections mm -hmm. and get inside to make sure that they're okay because bees are kind of like other livestock right. they, they need the, our help these well days. and as you consider you know Especially we just saw those test. drones in there right well yeah. we're coming up on uh, very quickly coming up on the time that the drones are you know their purpose is going to be fulfilled and so yeah do that yeah so if the drones have not died off then their wings will be ripped off and they're going to be thrown out of the hive so that they starve to death just underneath the hive that they now can't get back into why the brick on top of the hive? Uh, honestly, wind. They use propolis to seal their hive, and yet uh, we like to make sure that wind can't come along and rip the hives, uh, rip the hive tops off, or yeah. raccoons or possums, you know that sort of thing. So we put we put the heavy items on top. It's not always a brick. It's just in this yard, it's a brick. Sometimes it's a big old log. Just whatever we have available. But that's why. And why do I have numbers on them? Uh, we have numbers on these because we actually need to be able to keep track of where we are. So Derek knows numbers one, two, three, and he's got another one over here not labeled four. He knows which queen is in each hive based on the number and his, his organization system. He's extra like that. That's why we know when we've done treatment. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now this one, this hive, is the one with the super on bottom, and I'm wondering if that's the reason, or with the the. Blah, 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 blah. We did a reversal on this with the honey super on the bottom, or the food super on the bottom, and this hive doesn't have as many bees sitting on the porch. Right. I'm wondering if that has something to do with, or I'm, I was trying to figure out why this hive isn't bearded like the other ones, or at least porch sitting like the other ones. Quite you have a huge population in one and two, so we are about to find um, find out what's going on in number three. All right, so the question is, why do they eventually kill the queen? That is a phenomenal question, Nick. Um, Derek, why do they eventually... Kill. Now, first and foremost, they don't always eventually kill the queen. They don't always. Sometimes but there she are can times before it's her time. Yes, but there are times that they do, in fact, terminate the queen. Why do they do that? Because her. I think we meant. Yeah, we did. We her pheromones drop, and she's just not producing eggs to sustain a colony. If, yeah. if they're not satisfied with her performance, it's she's time gone. for a new queen. Yeah. yeah. Because it's all about sustainability and keeping the hive alive and, and keeping this thing going in the absolute most efficient way possible yeah yeah 
So that is exactly right. Sometimes she's just not performing. Sometimes she gets damaged, which prevents her from being able to perform. Yeah. Sometimes that's our fault. That's why we're always really gentle or try to be really gentle when we pull the frames out because we don't want to accidentally roll the queen, damage her wings, that sort of thing. Um, and other times it's just the natural order of things. Uh, she just, she's past her prime and they need, in order to have that survivability, they need a queen in her prime. So they'll replace her. A lot of times uh, you'll see what we call super seizure for us queen cells and in those I'm standing right in their flight path uh, <laughs> well uh, so I've moved off to the side now so you should still be able to hear me but you'll we'll see what we call the supersedure queen cells and in those cases those queen cells were produced because the bees for some reason or another decided they needed to replace the queen that was with a new queen that is nine times out of ten the replacement queen is the daughter, a daughter, of the original queen. Uh, very few cases, like, you know, we may come along and see that the queen has been, you know, killed or is gone or whatever, and so we replace her with a queen of our own. But otherwise, they use a daughter from the original queen. And in some cases, especially where swarming is concerned, the old queen will come along and lay eggs in the queen cell. So she will intentionally lay the eggs that will become her replacement. That doesn't mean she's about to die. That means she's about to leave. And she's going to take half the hive with her. So they leave behind the best chance they can for the remaining bees to survive. So this is our deep on top. Yes. Here. I'm trying to remember how they had this hive set up. Maybe it, it'll be different than when we came out anyway. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to... So I need to start. Yeah, take top. It, yeah, start up top. Well, somehow we didn't get a frame back last time. Or shoved back tight. Need some help. Slow and steady wins yeah. the race. This one may just be, this may just be food chamber. Oh, nope, based on what I see at the bottom, you may have some brood down there. Oh, it's heavy though. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. lot of honey in it. Oh, my also, you, it looks like you tore the caps on some of them. That's fine. Here you go. Take we got brood the next one over. Okay. Right, am I saying yeah. right? I don't know, let me get over there. <laughs> don't need, don't yeah, need to go too much. Yeah, I said it off to the side. But boy, we made a mess down in the hive. That's okay. Just, that's okay. Almost, it's, it hasn't been gone together. It hasn't been took apart in so long. Yeah. Look how much honey's pouring out down there. Yeah, the it's fine. They'll clean it all right up. Okay. It's fine. They'll even clean it off of each other, so that's not damaging to them at all. Look how much bees. Yeah, that's Look all. How much food? Do you think this hive needs no more food, right? No, this this hive doesn't need any I more food at all right food, now. Because look how they. They, feel, they look like they have a ton. Yep. A ton of honey. The food. Uh, one of the things that I appreciate about Derek is that he is a new beekeeper, and instead of being embarrassed by not knowing, he to uh, totally agreed to be on camera in asking his questions as opposed to asking the questions and then coming along and pretending like he knew already. Uh, so it gives us an opportunity mm -hmm. to kind of do the experienced beekeeper teaching the new beekeeper in front of you guys so that y'all can experience kind of what it would be like to be a new beekeeper in the bee yard yourself. Careful, 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 careful. careful. Yeah. I was thought you were talking about the bees. No, and that's why well, I tried to were, point to you. Yeah, the I was like, going into the bees. Uh, I can't use the English words necessary to communicate my message, but I'll, I will point. Yeah, so I think these, and this is the one that was, I said, oh my gosh, shows it so heavy, and you said it's got yeah. two blocks on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, but then when I took the blocks off, it still felt heavier than Good. The Good, good, good. Yeah. What about getting rid of this little chintzy top that about snaps in half every time I take it off? Take it off. That? Yeah, replace it with a good one. It's perfect.
<laughs> Hottest day of the year. Yeah, let's go work honeybees. Thanks, Derek. That's a newbie mistake. Wednesdays are B-days. Wednesdays are B-days. I was going to be out here anyway. And the reality is, any time that the bees need you, that is a B-day. Yes. So, yeah, we, we're going to be out here regardless. So I'm keeping this jar on there just for... Just because I didn't get you know, one of yeah. my discs either to cap that off. And I was worried about them uh, making propolis and that up on this up here. Mm -hmm. But since it's not, whenever it's right in the, on the hive, they fill these mm -hmm. with uh, propolis. Yes. But it seems like so far when they're in this inner cover, they don't seem to fill them with propolis. Right. Just a, yeah, you got a, a less of a little bit of a spacing issue there, but not too big of a deal. Just it overhangs on the outside yeah, there. Yeah, that's that one. And, all right, don't pick up my car. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Around that day. I had distractions. Man. Blame the kids. God. Distractions. All right. What What a parent. You. And see, if I took that jar out, then I wouldn't have to deal with some bees getting into there. So I try not to do that if I don't have to, unless I smoke right on the jar when I pull it out. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can always tell who your real friends are because Alex comes along and says, how funny would it be while you were talking to get a bee in your mouth? Thank you, Alex. That is uh, that just so happens to be one of my uh, awake nightmares um, because uh, Derek will tell you. Actually, I've seen it on video. I'll be talking, and she will come right at oops, right at my mouth. So, yeah, it is. That's a real fear. <laughs> Where? Oh sh. Yeah, yeah, and they're going to find that, by the way. It's protected, man. Does it go all the way through? Yeah, 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 I can see your shoulder. That is awesome. I love it. Yeah, you are going to get, if they get if they get pissed, you're going to get lit up. My glove's got a hole in it somewhere. Yeah. You're going to get lit up. I am going to laugh so hard. Yeah, because you're going to get stung in the shoulder. Like, you're the most, you should be most protected at your shoulders. In that suit, because mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that's the thick canvas there. Yeah. Nope, no. nope. He's he has torn a hole in the seam of his bee suit. Happens every time. Yeah, and so now it, the countdown is on, and uh, if y'all if y'all hear me laughing and not being able to breathe, you will also most likely be simultaneously hearing Derek cuss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! What's up? I can't leave those jars in there. Come on. You got beetles, beetles in your jar? damn jar? What the heck? Is that what I'm seeing? That's exactly what you're seeing. Dude, there's so many beetles up in this. No. No, they're on no, the no, no. Yeah, you got to get this jar out of there anyway. That's that's mold. Mold, yeah. So it's been empty for a while, and yeah, it's just it grown mold. So, all right, girls, hop off. Yeah, bye, girl. So, um, even if you don't put... Justin, there's so many beetles, man. Yeah, well, we just need you have another beetle trap or no? Yeah, but gosh, I'm going to be solid beetle traps. So? That is crazy to me how many beetles. Thank you, you for answering my questions. You both have a good day. Tell Beast, thank you for my honey. Enjoy. Absolutely, Alex. Uh, call me later. We haven't talked in a while. I want to know what you got going on. You should, you've had a couple of closings recently, so I want to hear about them. And I'll tell you what's going on with me. Wonderful day. Nothing. I'm actually looking at getting into prostitution because real estate's just not working out. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I'm afraid. I ain't gonna get yeah, I'm just kidding. I like. I need to make money. It would cost me money to try to do that. <laughs> Put your clothes back on, please. <laughs> well, I might be able to make money doing that. Yeah, Put your yeah, clothes back on. Right, right. Good. Oh, God, it's Man, these are freaking beetles, man. Yeah. Don't be trying to kill them. Just put traps in there. Oh, okay. So you were asking about spacing. How do you know they need more space? Whoa. Burke home is a way to know that the bees have required some more space, but it also means that you just might be overfeeding them. That's another one of those things. But they have... Access. And they also have access to that. So the jars inside on strong hives gives them access to the communal feeding, the jars inside, plus whatever nectar is being produced. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so 
Shut up. Darn it while I was looking at it. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and smack them off now. <laughs> Shut up. I already did it on accident. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, God. No, I would not make it as a uh, whatever it was I said I was going to do. Um, <laughs> Watch your step when you come back over too because you got some on the ground now. We have all had that oops in the past. Currently, I'm smoking the uh, bees that are on the ground because they will take flight to get back to the hive when they smell that smoke. Otherwise, they may just kind of hang out there for too long. Are they chasing him? Uh, no, they were not. Uh, they didn't chase him, but he stopped to kill the beetles again. And he's on a phone call. Here, let's see if I can get y'all in real close. Too. Last time the block stuck and fell and hit this hive and made it go crazy. <laughs> now, what do you do when it's a time of year not to add room and your bees are telling you to add room, Justin? What do you do there? Put you on the spot. Uh, honestly, I just wait. I stop feeding them because they've got plenty of food. Uh, this population will consume some of that food, providing more room, uh, specifically for her to lay, because you do want winter bees. But all these girls that you have right here, they're going to die off. So you really don't need to add space right now. Dude, my beetle traps are... Your beetle traps are full. That's full. one of the reasons. Yeah, because that's... They just... Uh, I just saw more beetles run into it. Yeah. So uh, they can't hold any. Right. And look at them. Yeah. Yeah, I'd pour some oil in there and kill every single one of those um, things. But Derek, silver lining on that is your traps are working. Working, man. There's a whole other the Yeah, and they're piled so high in this one that they were. The, the, I just watched beetles crawling out. Oh, yes, same. There, there. Damn, look at that, dude. Beetles. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Here, give me that back. Give me that back. Give me that back. That's how much of beetle infestation we have this summer. That is a lot of beetles. The bees are having yeah. a hard time protecting their stuff over that many. Okay, so we're just going to pour oil in that. We're going to kill those off. Now, if they have larvae in there, so the beetles, and the bees, I know they can't do anything to the adults, but can the bees do anything to the larvae? Uh, yeah, I don't think the beetles actually lay in the hive. Uh, uh, that's what makes them all flying. Huh? That's what makes them all flying. All the, when the frames get all flying. Yeah. Ah. On the frame. Yeah, apparently they lay like crazy in that pollen too, in a pollen patty. And in dead bees. Yeah, you know what? I have seen that. So, yes, they could do something about it, but they can't get to them because they, they burrow so deep. The bur larva bur burrows so deep into the pollen. Covered in them. Yeah, it's nasty. Here, let me have that. I'll put that in while you go clean that off of you. Oh, here, can I have that towel, please? Yeah. Because there's a lot of oil on this. Just 
disgusting little creatures. Man, Justin, we've had a couple of dead outs and there's extra beetles around and going to get their hives. Yep. So, once that hive's empty, they can just move right on into another. Yep. That, which is also why you saw me as soon as I realized that hive was dead, I just picked it up and moved it. Got a quarantine. All right, do you want this to go back in there? Yep. Okay. Did you dump them out or did you kill them first? What's that? Did you, uh, did you dump the beetles? I covered them up with oil and then dumped it. And then dumped it? Okay, good. Yep. So I tried to coat them all in oil. I do like pine straw. The only problem I have with it is that it burns so fast. It does. Now, my story, but we still got to do a check on this hot Justin. Well, honestly, I think you've seen what you need to see. Cool, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. Bees do speak a language, and. Should I scrape this or no? Or it's going to pour down in there? This one's already busted open. Yeah. What about that side over there? Should I leave it? I always try to remove the bird comb. That's what I thought. Anyway, once you once you learn what they're saying, or how they're saying it. Get home. <laughs> Did you pick up my hospital? Probably. Huh. We are always setting these things. Oh uh, yeah, that one looks really clean. So that's going to be my new one. Yeah, that is. It's not clean anymore, by the way. I seen you scrape well, it off. Well, I seen yeah. you just scrape it off. Yeah, it. by half tool stand. Yeah, I have a bunch of uh, carbon buildup. I think, you know, because I use it to stuff fuel down in the smoker. Well, come on. Well, then where's your half tool? I think I may have put it over this truck. No, it's right here. Not the two. One of them. I've got two of them out already. So we'll put it here. That is the most beekeeper thing I've seen us do so far. There's yours. I got it nice and pretty for you. All right. Come on, girl. Oh, you know what? She may be stuck in there. Hold on. Yeah, she was stuck in there. Haha. <laughs> Did she get you? No, she was stuck in the oh. cell because it had squeezed close. I was like, really? I got right here. Yeah. I want to taste it, but at the same time, it's just syrup mm -hmm. that they collected. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess it's All right. Kind of yeah, time to put right. it back together. All the pedo corpses on top. That's so funny. The lid is right over here on the. I didn't get it. Uh... Oh, to be perfectly honest with you, man, I would just put this lid on. What's that? I would just put the lid on. You don't. I mean, you don't need the ventilation. You don't think so? Uh. -uh. You can if you want to. It is not well, I don't necessary. need, and I don't need to mm -hmm. feed, no. And I'm not going to need to feed in there. That, these, yeah. So we come up with, these two are just jam-packed holes. Mm-hmm. This one doesn't quite have as much as these two. Ow. He got bit by a horse fly. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Just because we're doing the communal feed right now, and yeah. as you saw in here, you've got a lot of food, yeah. so it can be too much. Right. So. And I'm already worried about them with almost going too much. Exactly. Food. Exactly. All right, y'all. So that is it. Thank you so much for joining us on the inspection of these three hives. What we determined, if you were paying attention, was that he's got a lot of food in there. We've got a lot of bees in there. They're keeping their population up right now because they have so many resources. 
So in order for them to be able to start preparing for the winter, we're going to stop providing them, or he's going to stop providing them with as much resource. We still have the communal feeding off to the side out here, so they'll still have access to that. We still have the communal pollen supplement that they still have access to. So it's not like we're going to say, all right, children, starve. No, we're just going to stop putting the food directly into the hive with them. They don't need that much. So we're going to back off, all right? And, uh, but they otherwise, they look really great. They, we do have a beetle infestation throughout each of the hives. We have the same thing in each one of my hives uh, that I'm raising with my dad and my nephew. So we're keeping the beetle traps in there. Swiffer sheets is another thing that you may want to get some of and put some Swiffer sheets in your hives. Yeah. So that's another thing that we're doing. So we are keeping the population, getting the population back under control. It's been a little while since any kind of beetle trap has been checked or replaced in his hive. So we did that today. And so we're getting that taken care of. And so, yeah, no, he's looking great. Uh, good looking hives. Derek, how do you feel about today? Uh, pretty good, pretty good, man. I think we're right on track to where they want to be. Yep. For for, for more winter, if I can maybe just maybe even get out here with a little more, a few more beetle traps across the top. I think my and the, or the Swiffer sheets. Swiffer, actually, I would maybe. say Swiffer sheets because those are much easier to just yank out. Yank out keep, out the, the, keep the beetle traps yes. in there, but throw some Swiffers in as well. Yep. All right, so that said, we've got the rest of our day to do. So thank you guys for joining us. I will be uploading this video to YouTube. I've got two other videos to go on as well. So we'll be getting that added there. Don't forget to get over there to my my channel, Buzz and Blossoms Bee Farm uh, at, at YouTube, and uh, uh, get subscribed to that. Hit that bell so that